other documents that may be required by the specific activity in the LPP. Uh, as an example, sa tourism kasi, you have to have an endorsement from the Department of Tourism. And then later, as a uh, post-registration condition, yung pong accreditation naman kasi parang nagkakaroon sila ng inspection. So, malaman natin anong, uh, anong star yung, yung uh, uh, hotel or resort or whatever tourism activity yon. Another example is the PPP projects. So, we need an endorsement from the PP Center or other concerned agency and then contract agreement with concerned agency. Ma'am, Sir, doon kasi sa requirement nyo itong latest audited financial statements. For the source type up, uh, we just... Hindi, uh, baka lang siya sa exist. Uh, yes, sir. Balit parang, lalo na kung single prop, parang statement lang ng assets and liabilities lang po. Mm -hmm. Pero yan po, required. Kung corporation, ano lang po, uh, hindi required. Tsaka yung general information sheet, since bagong registered sa SEC, hindi rin po kailangan. Okay. And then, for example, housing. Kung napapansin nyo po, napakaraming housing projects all over the Philippines. Yeah. Parang nawala na yung mga tanima natin ng palay. <laughs> so, for housing. And then, dito sa Metro Manila, mayroon namang mga condominium projects. So, tabi-tabi na sila. So, mayroong ibang requirement dyan na sworn undertaking signed by the CEO that it has not incurred sales and will not incur sales prior to BOI registration. Po, so, may mga limitation. So, kung napapansin yun, pagka maganda yung location at maganda ang project at kilala yung uh, developer, ang daming nag inquire So, pagka nag-file sila sa BOI at mayroong binayaran mas kisa, kunyari 1,000 units yung kanilang ginagawa, at na-discover may isang nabenta, existing na po siya, which is not registrable. At ang pwede lang natin i-register dyan kung ang selling price is 2 million and below. More than that, hindi na po. Ibig sabihin, hindi pang masa. Kasi noon ang term namin dyan is mass housing. So, yung mga affordable lang. And then, parang nire-require namin yan na magkaroon ng parang socialized housing equivalent uh, dyan sa project cost. Another is a uh, certified true copy of the development permit. And then, license to sell and certificate of registration if already available. So, at the time of the application, development permit muna. Pero pag na-approve na kayo, may, mayroong condition doon na kailangan may license to sell at saka certificate of registration. So siguro sa inyo, yung mga nagbabalak na kumuha, mag-invest sa housing, mapapansin nyo yung may mga karatula doon na kalagay yung license to sell na in-issue. So pwede na silang magbenta. And then kung joint venture, joint venture agreement, titingnan kasi, Ano ba yung arrangement nila? Otherwise, baka hindi kumualify for registration or yung isa lang ang pwedeng mag-qualify. May, medyo ako napansin nyo, ginawa ko example ng housing kasi maraming requirement dyan kasi nililimit nga po natin ang registration. Kasi masyado na siyang uh, parang ka kailangan pa ba ng assistance from the government? So another secretary certificate that only revenues arising from the sale of housing units used as a family home or dwelling shall be covered. Kasi po, yung iba, parang ginagawang office lang. So, hindi siya allowed pagkaganoon. Kaya lang, pinoproblema nito sa monitoring, hindi ka naman allowed na pumunta doon sa loob para ma-check kung talaga office ba yun or residential. And then, a CEO of Hidabit on Socialized Housing Compliance. Kung napansin nyo ang San Miguel, uh, ang, ang, ang uh, SM, mapakarami nilang project. So, marami rin silang mga socialized housing. Ngayon may 50 sila project. Dapat may proof sila na yung isa sa mga requirement namin, nakaka-comply siya, which is yung uh, development of socialized housing. So, para yung mga maliliit naman, magkaroon din ng housing. Parang iyon ang kapalit. Bibigyan kita ng incentive magbigay ka naman sa iba na magkaroon ng housing. Pero napakalaki pa rin po ang backlog. And then, ang project po kasi may be registered and be given incentives depende dun sa type and status of the project. So sa type of project, may be new, operating, expansion, or modernization. 
So how do we find, uh, define a new project? Uh, it is not started commercial operation. And then pag tinignan po natin yung mga, ano, mga registrations nila sa SEC, uh, tapos kinumpare natin doon sa mga registered sa, sa BOI, there should be no common share, uh, stockholders in an existing enterprise. Pero kung mayroon, uh, uh, stockholders owns not more than 50% of equity in new enterprise, has common stockholders but will engage in the same activity but in different location. So kung baga kunyari sa Batangas yung new project, pwede kayong maglagay sa Bulacan, considered pa rin na new yun. Kailan tinitingnan din po, ano yung naging production doon sa existing? So baga yung sinasabi ni Jung kanina, magsasabit ang company ng segregated na income statement para yung new project lang ang mabigyan ng incentive. And then, pwede rin ma-define siya as new kung entirely distinct and different activity from its existing business operation. So, yun yung kinarepare ni Mr. Rolin kanina. So, pwede maraming registration basta iba-ibang uh, activity. And then, the same activity, if it... Uh, will establish a new complete line, will have new investment in fixed assets and working capital. Dati po kasi, kanyari, isang compound. May building dito. Nagpatayo sa ng katabi. Expansion lang po yon, subject to base figure, pag, pag nag-avail ng income tax holiday. Nagkaroon po ng definition na pwede siyang ma-consider as new for as long as walang sharing ng ano, walang common equipment. And then magkakaroon ng uh, uh, sa sariling investment. So, may monitoring din pong gagawin nyo para hindi nag-dope. Kasi proceeding ang existing, nagkaroon na, nag-expire na yung incentives. Itong bago, dapat concentrated lang dito sa bago para uh, yun lang ang mabibigyan ng incentive. So, ang, ano naman yung expansion? Pwede rin po kasi maging expansion. Maganda, maganda yung new kasi pwede yung four years income tax holiday. Pag new kasi mayroong uh, bonus year na three years. Kung expansion ka lang, 3 years ka lang, wala kang bonus year. So in short, yung kanina, 4 plus 3, a total of 7 years income tax holiday. Pero kung ikaw ay pioneering project, which is 6 years ITH, plus 3 equals 9. Pero ang maximum po income tax holiday is only 8 years. So yung expansion will involve the installation of additional facility or equipment that will result in increase in capacity of the same similar activity within the same existing facilities of the enterprise. So, yun nga po kung may common facility. And then, modernization, kunyari, um, mag-improve lang kayo ng system, process, or equipment, which will result in at least a 25 reduction in cost of provision of the service or upgraded service quality, such as classification of the facility to a higher class. Ito po nagiging applicable sa mga tourism project. Kunyari, ngayon, one star. Uh, kapag minodernize mo or in-upgrade mo ang services, binigyan ka ng three star. So, isang qualification po yun. Kaya lang, medyo ito, medyo madugo ang income tax holiday computation kasi rate of exemption ang ginagamit. Unlike yung new or expansion na talagang kung ano pinresent mo, yun, yun ang mabibigay sa'yo provided meron ka lang uh, segregated income statement. Ito parang tinitignan ng ano ba yung investment mong bago over the existing investments, which is the total assets. Uh, yung nga ko palang ano, yung pioneering, parang hindi ko yata naligay, uh, it may be registered as pioneer or non-pioneer. So yung pioneer projects, binibigyan natin ng 4 years, at uh, 6 years, and then non-pioneer is 4 years. Pero kung mag-locate locate kayo sa less developed area, consider yung uh, mabibigyan siya ng pioneering incentives, which means six years income tax holiday. This is the registration process. Parang maliit. Ito na lang, diretso na lang tayo. Uh, we will be, uh, we are given 20 working days, pero yung first step is the application for registration. If we present your application for registration as to completeness of documents. And, and then, kung complete, parang kumbaga sometimes kasi may department na napakaraming application, especially that department handling housing. So, pag kompleto, ipipila kayo yun, naka-assign sa mga, sa mga technical staff. 
And then, it's a checklist as to completeness of docu uh, uh, information. Once completo documents and info, pagbabayari ng application fee, and then dun na magka-count ang 20 working days, kailangan magkaroon ng action, otherwise nga po, officially, at parang automatically approve ang project. We have to present it to the management committee. But recently po, yung small and micro projects, or those with project cost 15 million and below, uh, delegated function na po sa executive director ang approval ng project. So, mas mabilis pagkamaliit yung project cost. Or otherwise, sa management committee. And then, after the management committee, we present to the board na iba yung composition ng members. And then, we'll prepare the notice of board action or the approval, whatever, deny or uh, approve. Kung approved, we have the specific terms and conditions to be attached and to be accepted by the company. This is the table of the application fee. A minimum is 1,500 and maximum of 6,000. Pero mayroon po kasing of, um, ano tal, the legal research fund of, uh, of 1% but not less than 20, kaya may, may butal po. So what's approved na yung project, Nasa company na po ngayon kung kailan niya isasubmit ang registration requirements but the firm is only given 60 calendar days to submit. Pero kung kunyari mayroong unavoidable um, circumstances they can justify kung, kung mag-extend kayo sila they will be given only 30 uh, days. And then pag nag-submit they will pay again a registration fee of one-tenth of one percent of the project cost, but not less than 3,000 and not to exceed 15,000. So, maximum po kung titignan natin, uh, application fee of 6,060 plus 15,000, 21,060 ang magiging registration. Whether uh, the project is 100 million or billions of pesos, yun lang po ang babayaran nila. So, application fee and registration fee will depend on the project cost presented to us. Uh, yung kanina po na present ko na uh, registration um, documents na isa submit sa amin, one of them is the notice to be published. The firm is, uh, the, the public is given three calendar days to submit its, ano, their uh, comment or objection in writing under oath kung hindi sila nag doon sa project na mag-locate sila doon sa area. Uh, normally po, parang ito sa sa manufacturing na apply Kasi kung kumbaga magiging very polluting yung kanilang project, in, nagkakaroon sila ng petition. Pero hindi natin alam bakit na-approve pa rin. So once approved na yung project, mayroon kami notice of board approval. Ito po yung ating pre-registration requirements before a company is issued a, the certificate of registration. So, resolution of the Board of uh, Directors accepting the terms and condi conditions. Madali lang po yun eh, yung mga terms and conditions. Parang sinasabi natin na sinabi nyo na ito ang start of commercial operation nyo. Sabi nyo, ito ang project cost nyo. Sabi nyo, uh, ito yung may base figure kayo kung kayo ay mag-expand. So, may, may format na po kami dyan dun sa uh, first three. So, our statement of the Board of Directors affirming all representation and commitments made to the board, whether in the print post registration are true and correct. Kasi po yung application form is uh, signed by the officer and authorized. So certificate under oath that the firm is not in a risk and the payment of outstanding obligation to the government or any government instrumentality. Actually po, yung mga malalaking companies namin, nila refer namin sa legal, Kasi yung department mo, po namin, hanggang sa issuers lang ng certificate of registration. Another department will monitor yung compliance ng mga terms and conditions, including yung filing ng ano, na annual report, audited FS, tsaka income tax return. So lahat ng yun dapat comply siya before we can issue the certificate of registration. Another is yung whoever yung contact namin na dapat i-address yung mga lahat ng communication after registration. Kasi po yung sometimes kung consultant ang nag-file sa amin, most of the time kasi lalo yung mga malalaking company, nag-hire na sila ng consultant. 
So, after registration, out na sila, bayad na sila eh. So, hindi, hindi, misa hindi na-explain sa kanila na, na ito yung mga dapat na reports na isasubmit sa BOI. So, dapat yung mayroon silang isasubmit na contact details, whoever yung, yung ini-assign nila para madali silang mag-contact. And then, yun nga, yung payment of registration fee or other specific uh, documents, depende doon sa sector. Uh, for example, in housing, in yung license to sell and certificate of registration. This is also for the protection of the buyers. Kasi minsan, wala palang license to sell. Minsan, nagtanggap na sila ng payment. Yung pala, hindi naman natuloy ang project. Kinulang ng ponto. Tapos yung mga reports nga ng may existing registration. So, we'll be issuing the certificate of registration once na nasubmit na nila yung uh, pre-registration requirements which includes nga po yung specific agent of terms and conditions. Nakalagay doon yung mga possible incentives nila kailan nila ipa-file. Magkano yung uh, uh, babayaran nila doon sa mga application. And then the certificate will be signed by the Executive Director of the Industry Development Service, uh, our Board Secretary and the Undersecretary. This is... Um, these are the post-registration requirements. Sa issuance pa rin to, yung kumbaga nakagay po ito doon sa pre-registration requirements uh, in the letter of approval. So for start-up, start of commercial operation uh, or ITA shall be the date when the enterprise earns taxable income but not to exceed two years from the date of registration. Applicable po kasi ito doon sa mga, sa mga maliliit na initially uh, losses sila sa operation. So parang hindi nila na ma-maximize ang income tax holiday. Yung income tax holiday po kasi recons from the date na sinabi nila mag-start sila ng commercial operation. For example, uh, January 2020, kaya lang kinapos ng pondo or yung capital equipment hindi dumating on time. Kung hindi po force major ang reason for the delay in the implementation, hindi po kasi ma ma mababago yung start of commercial operation. Ay, I mean, the reconing. Pwede ma-approve ang start, uh, movement ng startup commercial operation but the reckoning of the income tax holiday incentives remain the same. Uh, if the company is registered as an export producer or as a service export and it is a Filipino, it will be required to export at least 50% of each production. For foreign uh, companies, it shall export at least 70% of each production or services. An example for healthcare for post uh, registration, uh, prior to start of commercial operation, it should submit a license to operate or accreditation, whichever is applicable, which is issued by the Health Facilities and Services uh, Regulatory Bureau of the DOH, and then prior to availment of ITH, a copy of the Certificate of Pill Health Accreditation where applicable. So, lagi po yung nakapost naman sa kanila. Pero, for purposes of monitoring, nire-require pa rin namin. Although, sinasabi nila, without that, eh, hindi naman talaga sila makaka-operate. And then, for housing, yun, yun din, uh, certified through cafe license to sell and it's certificate of registration issued by. Parang, ano, parang hindi yata na-delete. <laughs> parang ito ginawang, ginawang pre-registration condition to eh. Kasi nga po, nagkaroon ng mga problema before. Dati yan kasi before the availment of ITH. Kaya nakapost. Ginawa ng pre yan. Sorry for that. And then for another post registration before the availment, is iyon nga po BOT accreditation. Kasi daw po, yung, yung endorsement based lang sa papel. So i-endorse nila as kunyari five-star hotel or resort, etc. Pero minsan, pwedeng mabago po yon kapag nag-actual visit na sila before the issuance of the accreditation. So, kaya uh, nire-require pa rin namin yan. Ito yung na-mention na ni June na uh, mga incentives. Major incentives actually is the income tax holiday and then the bonus year and then the duty-free importation of capital equipment. Yung duty-free importation po is under EO 80... 85? 85. Uh, recently approved po, para extension to nung 57. This is good for three years. So, starting July 24. 
And then, ito pa yung sinabi ko nga, duty exemption or imported capital equipment under EO85. So, work phase exemption from work phase use. This is for exporters. And then, yung breeding stocks nga po. And then, tax credit on imported raw materials kung exporter ka. And then, the consigned equipment, the ADLE, employment of foreign national in certain uh, positions, and the simplification of custom procedure. Kaya lang hindi po na pwede baliin ang kamay ng customs para ma-process ang application kasi may sarili silang procedure. Although nilalagay namin yan kasi nga may mga agreement kami. Pero mahirap mag-go between sa, com sa company at sa customs. Baka kasi sabihin nila mayroong, mayroong kami tiniting na natinititigan. So for exporters also, they have uh, the, the abundant manufacturing warehouse. Thank you po. Uh, doon sa BOI po, uh, ang project evaluation, may tatong department na nagkahandle. Uh, ours is in charge of manufacturing industries. Another department is handling the resource base, which includes yung mga mining, and then yung mga tree plantation, energy, and on. And then another department handle yung mga infrastructure, yung mga PPP projects, yung mga airport natin dyan na nababalita natin magkakaroon sa Bulacan. So yun, yun. Sila, sila ang nag-handle plus yung mga tourism projects and then the housing projects. Sila yung uh, about 80% of the applications for registration, sila ang nag-handle. So sila yung pinakamahaba ang, ang pila. Pero uh, another department naman, yung maski konti, project cost-wise, sila yung pinakamahaba. Okay, so yung sa inyo, kunyari, uh, kasi mga pwedeng, kunyari, nabenta nyo yung technology sa isang company. Ang isa kasing determination namin ng pioneering para mas marami ang incentives. Example is the income tax holiday nga po. Uh, yung, yung sinabi nga rin ni June na kapag nabenta nyo yung technology nyo, ginamit ng company, uh, tapos nag-refer kami sa DOST, uh, pwede kayong, pwede nyo company mabigyan ng pioneer uh, 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 na incentives. So, kumbaga, initially, kung Filipino Corporation yon pwede namin i-accept at i-process and recommend on a non-pioneer status without prejudice to upgrading to pioneer. Once we receive the opinion of the DOST, the association, the sectoral champion, but if it is a foreign-owned company, we cannot officially accept the application unless we receive the opinion of the DOST and other concerned uh, office or agencies na talagang pioneering siya. Otherwise, hindi siya registrable. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, ma'am. iyon ang i-determine natin. Kasi yung nakalagay naman doon sa status, doon sa definition natin, uh, not yet in commercial operation. Sa amin kasi, for purposes of evaluation, meron kami pinipresent na um, less than 10% yung naging sales niya uh, compared doon sa projected uh, uh, revenues niya on the first year of operation. So di ba yung first hanggang PIP kasi pinagsasubmit namin sila ng projection. Initial year, kunyari, 100 units, 200, at 500 units on the fifth year. So, ang basihan namin is the first year only. So, yung 100, kunyari, naka-9 ka over, ano, over uh, 100. So, uh, kung sakali na ano, pwede pa siyang in-trial operation. Mm -hmm. So, in that case, they have to register right away. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, can yes, pagka ano kasi yung again. first step namin kaya dumating yung company, yun agad ang tinitingnan namin. Part kasi ng application form is the project timetable with project cost. Pag nakita namin about to operate, mam talaga po bang ano, um, uh, bukas ay yun, so isang next month na kayo mag-operate, baka pwede pa po natin mag-move ng another month para register na kayo. Pero isang consideration na tinitingnan nga po namin yun, lalo na kung maliit yung company, is the ano, ano na ba yung naging sales nyo? Kasi parang nagtatrial nga sila. Parang, 
uh, kung hindi naman lalo na nila inireflect pa doon sa financial statement, mas safe pa yung company. Sir, yung uh, I'm not too clear yung, yung, kung may company A sila selling to company A okay. of the pioneering product who gets the incentive? Uh, company B or company B? Uh, ang dapat po kasi before a company uh, can avail the incentives dapat po BOI registered oh, yeah, okay. Who, whoever is registered with us uh, pwede po P pwede kasing both company company A is producing parang uh, parts Uh, company B is exporting the whole product. So okay. yung, yung, yung revenue stream niya doon sa A is yung uh, part lang lang po. Yeah. Ito po yung whole product niya. So both can for, for as long as registrable yung dalawang activity na yun, po pwede po. Separate registration. Pwede yung existing was not registered with BOI. Pero ang hihingi namin doon is the um, uh, production and sales for the last three years ng company. Or kung nag-exist siya or nag-operate only for the uh, for the last two years, pwede yun kung, kung ano man yung mayroon siyang ano, uh, figures na may sasubmit siya. Pero consider siyang expansion. Kasi one, one of the steps in project evaluation is the conduct of the site visit of the area of operation. Kasi minsan may sinasabi na wala pa wala pa operation, mag-expand sila. Nung nag-visit, tinatanong namin, asan yung new equipment? Eh, may nagtatrabaho na. Ginagamit na. So, existing siya. Okay, kailangan ba yung expansion line a distinct set of equipment from the... Yes, you... Yung, kumbaga, yung determinant equipment to produce that uh, product, dapat iba yun. Kasi mayroon doon sa application for registration natin, mayroon doon assumption doon sa estimated production niya. So, mamilitonic pa yung, kumare, they're using the same set of equipment to produce new product lines? Hindi. Isa pala sa requirement natin, sa ngayon na, doon sa guidelines na under the 2017 IPP, the company must uh, use brand new equipment, up-to-date market technology, market appropriate uh, brand new equipment. Uh, kung mam yung, sorry, ako nagtatanong for you. Hindi kayo nagtatanong. Kung yun mam ito, kasi DOSC also has support for equipment acquisition. If you, if Bagong, bagong, ano yan, parang kakaiba. Kasi di 